What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, y'all know who it is. You know what it is, man. It's your boy Big June. I'm back with it. Here with another episode of Big June Sports Talk, man. Where we sports discussion because sports debates. Where we discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly. Everything and anything in the sports world, I touch on this platform, man. You know, before I get this episode off, you know, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, tell a friend to another friend. We can discuss it, debate it right on this platform or anything sports related. You know what I mean? So, the more the merrier. But you know, I just dropped. Do, do. What the fuck is wrong with Ja? No pun intended. You can check that episode out. I also dropped the Sandman, Mariana Rivera. I just dropped, you know, Aaron Rodgers, Mr. Rodgers' new neighborhood. I'll get into more detail about that. As far as everything surrounding Aaron Rodgers is going to be a jet. How long would it be before he becomes a member of the New York Jets? And, uh, you know, you know, John Moran, he avoided criminal charges in Denver, out there in Colorado. So, you know, lucky for him, the NBA suspended him. So hopefully, you know, he gets his act together moving forward for the Memphis Grizzlies and just for himself and his family, right? You know, there's a lot of things that always goes on in the sports world, man, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, you know, some of the things that I touch on this past, present, current times, like, you know, like today. It's an ugly rumor swirling around in the NBA circles in the ranks, right? And now all through the internet, as, as you look at it, if you're in the YouTube and, you, and you're checking out these videos, there's no way you can avoid a video on Andrew Wiggins and what's going on with him, his situation, right? Now, this is all speculation because no one really knows, right? As far as Golden State, they're, they're type lit with it. Andrew Wiggins, his camp, they're real quiet. So you don't know what's going on. You don't know what to believe as far as these videos is coming out. However, the speculation that his wife could be his girlfriend, I really don't know. I think it's his wife. The mother, his kid, kids, supposedly, allegedly sleeping with one of his friends, close friend, best friend. And it's a possibility that the kid or kids are not his. I mean, let's slow that down for a second. I feel like I'm doing an episode of Maury Povich or something, man. You are not the father. I mean, no pun intended. This is not here to make fun of Andrew Wiggins or his situation. This is just crazy knowing that stuff like this actually happens in the sports world. So when you think about, well, okay, what has this got to do with Andrew Wiggins as far as his situation, right? Well, he has to suit it up for the Golden State Warriors since February 13th or 14th. Correct me if I'm wrong, one of those dates. So that's over a month that he has to suit it up and play basketball for Golden State, who's trying to hold on to a play-in spot. So you see the ramifications and the, and the situation and the consequences of his absence right there as far as a basketball perspective, right? From a basketball perspective, from a standpoint, right? But we all know, you know, it's more to life than the game. You know, there's stuff deeper than the game. And right now, the situation that he's currently in is deeper than that game. Yeah, I know a lot of Golden State fans ain't going to like what I'm saying. The own management, the ownership, the players, it is what it is. Because now, if you put yourself in his shoe and his predicament, how would you react? Would you be gone? Would you still be playing basketball? Would you find uh, the court as a, as a safe haven for your problems like certain players do? You know, it's all in a different mindset of an individual, right? You might have one who wants to cling to what they do. So, like, when you're on the court, this is what you're thinking about. You ain't thinking about nothing else. Or you're like a horse, you know, racing. You can't see from side to side. You can only see straight. So, you know, now you have some guys. I don't want to pull his card out, but you got some Ben Simmons. You know, they deal with shit different. That mental aspect of an athlete or any individual. Because in reality, it doesn't matter if you an athlete, a garbage man, a doorman, or you work in 7-Eleven. If you find out your significant loved one, your spouse, your wife, stepped out on their relationship, on your marriage, and it's a possibility that one or not both kids, the child share together, are not yours. So how do you feel about that situation? As a man, as a father... I couldn't fathom if that situation was upon me. If I was living in that predicament the way Andrew Wiggins is, whether it's speculation or not, and with the internet, the social media world, 
it intensifies everything. It magnifies everything. You can't turn the corner without seeing what's going on. You know, I was curious to see, you know, because I'm a guy that always check the box score. So I didn't see Andrew Wiggins. And I'm seeing Golden State trying to cling on to the sixth speed so they don't have to go into the playing situation. However, I'm like, wait a minute. What is exactly going on with Andrew Wiggins, right? Because I'm like, they're battling it for a, play, uh, a playoff spot or a playing spot, right? And their best defender on the wing has missed significant time. You see, this is one thing that, you know, really didn't peak me as far as, like, what's going on over there. Because injuries are part of the game. You know, Clay missed his nice minute time. Dre, Steph, that's part of the game. So you expect injuries during the course of 82 games. However, a situation like this, where you can't get your mind right, you don't know what's going on. Your mind constantly, consistently wandering. Could you prove, could you do your job to the best of your abilities? I mean, it's a tough question. Some people, you know, different strokes are different folks, man. You know, I wouldn't say that the average person could deal with that situation. When you got to look at those kids and realize that, you know what? Wow. It's a real possibility these little girls aren't mines. So now, as a father, right? You would expect the kid to resemble or have features or strong features of you and your family side, right? Genetically. Did that ever cross his mind? Like, are these kids mine? She wouldn't do me dirty like that, right? Nah, she loves me. There's no way. I'm giving her the world. I'm showing her a different side of life. The good life. I mean, sometimes it's never enough. Sometimes it's never enough for a male or a female in a relationship. So that's like with Andrew Wingers right now. If it is indeed true that she stepped out on their relationship or their marriage. And if not one, but both kids are not his. Did his family have some type of inclination? Like, you know, the women had the intuition. Did the mother, the sister, someone or aunt? Had that intuition like, Andrew, uh, you might want to take a DNA test. These little girls don't look like you. I mean, it's a lot of ways you can spin this. It's a lot of ways you can dissect it, examine it, analyze it. You know, whatever you want to work, you want to use to describe this situation. But right now, right, with him, then you come to you find out your best friend, or your close friend? That's the one she's been cheating on you with? That acts like a whole different layer to what's going on. I mean, just think about that. It's bad enough you find out your wife or your girlfriend is cheating on you. And those kids are not yours? It's a possibility that the kids is not yours. Maybe one, if not both of them? And the icing on the cake, the cherry on the top? It's your close friend? The one who's probably been with you along the whole ride from draft day? I mean, <laughs> with friends like this, who needs enemies? Now, this all could be speculation. They all could come out. Andrew Wiggins could suit it for Golden State. But as far as ownership, management, the players themselves, you haven't heard a peep on what's going on and with Andrew Wiggins. What we do know is not injury related. Little by little pieces keep coming out. More details keep emerging. And it comes to the fact that we have, this is what it is. Or this is the latest rumor. When you start adding all the pieces together. Now they say that she tweeted out a couple of tweets in defense. Not saying that she didn't do it. Or that she did do it. But you know, that they see the internet and the social media world be playing themselves. Be adding more wood to the fire. But like they always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. So, as a Golden State fan, as a fan, excuse me, as a fan who plays, who pays to go to the game, 
who pays at the concession stand, who buys the jersey, whether it's Andrew Wiggins or not, whether it's Steph Curry's or not. Do they feel, as a fan, you need an explanation on why Andrew Wiggins hasn't been suiting up for so long, a month or over a month, when your team is battling, trying to hold on to a playoff slash play-in spot? I mean, it really is crazy. But as a man, as an individual, as a father, you got to sympathize what Andrew Wiggins is going through. And if you've been in his shoes, then you emphasize with that young man. And you don't wish that upon any man. Having that doubt constantly in your mind. You know, you can always find a new partner in life. Someone who can make you happy, who's true to you, who's faithful to you. But those kids, that bond, that relationship that he has with those little girls. That mental aspect of the game, it, it's not that easy to overlap that. To just to blink, you know what? I'm over it. I'm over that. I'm over them. It's not that easy. I mean, it's, it, I mean, it, it's rough. Either way, could I spin it? It's rough. Like I say all the time, we discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly. This situation is bad, and it could get real ugly if these rumors are true. I mean, as a young man, it's always pressure. It's always a lot of stuff on your plate, any individual. It doesn't matter if you're an athlete. It doesn't matter if you're a millionaire. You're a regular human being just like me and you. And realizing that it's a possibility that those kids are not his. So, hypothetically, does it ease the pain a little easier for Andrew Wiggins if one of them is his? You know, they say, how could you function with a broken heart? Right? So how could he function with a broken heart and a shattered mind? Yeah, I understand he's a millionaire. Yes, I understand his team, the Golden State Warriors, are battling for their playoff lives. I get it. I understand it. But as a man, as a father, I mean, would you want to be in his shoes? Would you want to be in the predicament Andrew Wiggins is? Would you want to wake up as Andrew Wiggins with that on your mind? Constantly, consistently on your mind. The doubt, the uncertainty. The betrayal from both parties. From his wife, his best friend. For how long was this going? Obviously, it was going on for a certain amount of years. If it's a possibility that both those kids are his. You know, when I was younger, a friend of mine tried to break down the difference between a man and a woman, right? As far as what they do and how they get away with it, right? They say when a man steps out on his relationship, everyone knows, right? But when a woman does it, everyone but him knows. So that means your friend, your neighbor, your co your coworker, whoever it is, might know what this female has been doing and for how long she's been doing it with and who she's doing it with. But as soon as you do something, everybody knows. I mean, it is what it is. No matter how you analyze the situation, it's definitely ugly. And it has a chance to get real ugly. Because... As a man, I can't accept the fact that, you know, you stepped out on me. You stepped out on our relationship. But then you spin around and you pin these little girls on me, which have no fault, no blame, because they're innocent. They have nothing to do with this. They don't know what's going on. They should have no blame. So as a man, even though you can't move forward in your relationship, you can no longer see her as your wife. What about those little girls? What about the relationship you've built with them? I mean, it's, it's definitely tough. It's tough. It's tough. And you know, I guess, let me just give you a quick scenario, right? If you're Andrew Wiggins, slate in the game, 82 game season. You come back, your mind's still fuzzy, 
You're not there a fully, 100% fully invested, focused on, on the task at hand, which is, you know, solidifying your playoff spot, right? And Golden State has to finish on the road. So let's just say it's uh, five cities and seven nights. So that's five different cities that Andrew Wiggins is going to lay his head to rest, not knowing what she's doing. If she's doing it with homeboy. So that always is going to be in his mind. Just knowing that she did it and who she did it with. While he was out of town. While he was earning a living. While he was doing the things where a man is supposed to, to provide for his family. His occupation is playing basketball. In the NBA. 82 game season. You know, you're constantly away from home. So I get the loneliness and all that. But through sickness and health, through good and bad, the oath, the vows y'all took to each other. It's supposed to be sacred. It's supposed to be a bond that, that should never be broken. Should be tested at times. We're human. But to be broken, and the way she broke it, if it is true, because, again, we're all speculating. And so is your boy, Big June. I'm speculating. But these rumors, these videos that I keep seeing and I keep hearing, you know, eventually the truth will come out. But like I always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And I'm not trying to add more wood to it. But curious, as a basketball fan, as a fan that has a my Golden State since the Mitch Richmond days, the Chris Mullen days, you know what I mean, the Tim Hardaway senior days, I was curious to see what was going on with Andrew Wiggins. Was he in injured? Was he out for the year? Seeing that Golden State surely could use his defense and his scoring. Moving forward down the stretch, right? Especially in the road. So could you imagine, not saying this is the sole reason why their record is so horrible on the road, but could you imagine from an individual standpoint, Andrew Wiggins, if you have any inclinations that his wife was stepping out on a marriage, that he had any intuition that his best friend, his close friend, was the one who was doing him dirty every time on the road. Because if it's 82 games, that's 41 games on the road. You do the math. Again, you know, we all could say, yo, you know, it is what it is. You got to suit up, man up, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is until you're in that situation, until you're in Andrew Wiggins' shoes. You see, I don't wish that on no man. The same way I don't wish jail on no man. And, you know, it's just crazy that in the sports world, for certain situations, it'll feel like Peter pays for Paul. And what I mean by that is because it's like his absence is definitely affecting Golden State and their chances of making the playoffs. So now he has some of these knuckleheads who are already quick to blame Andrew Wiggins for the record on the road. Surely going to blame Andrew Wiggins if they don't make the playoffs or the play-in. Uh, this, you, you should have manned up. Uh, you should have manned up. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But like I always say on this platform, man, we discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly. Everything and anything in the sports world, I touch on this platform, man. And it's just crazy that, you know, I'm constantly seeing these rumors. I've seen a couple of videos. I click into it, whether it's clickbait or not. And I'm always like, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. And you, it's constantly, it's now it's being more repetitive. So now she comes out, and she comes out with a couple of tweets. Which, you know, leaves people wondering, like, What's up, home girl? Did you do it? Or you didn't do it? Uh, what exactly are you worried about? Are you worried about this man whose heart is broken, whose mind is shattered and in a million pieces, going everywhere? But what are you worried about? This is the day in society. But you know, as far as Andrew Wiggins, can he recover? Can he bounce back and rejoin? His Golden State Warrior teammates, his brothers. I I feel he should because you know what? That camaraderie, that solidarity you have with each other. You know, he could surely use that right now. But as a basketball standpoint, it surely feels like once Draymond Green sucker punched Jordan Poole. Yeah, I'm saying he sucker punched him. <laughs> once he sucker punched Jordan Poole, it basically doomed that season, right? So as far as them being able to defend their championship, 
You know, a lot hinges on if Andrew Wiggins does rejoin the team. I mean, it's crazy, man. It's a wicked situation. It's a unique situation as far as sports. It's not an injury. But the mental aspect, if he can't overcome that, you know, you might see a Ben Simmons 2.0. I mean, stay tuned. As sure as more details are soon to emerge. It's got to. For explanation for, from, for the fans, from ownership, from management, for some of the players, anyone. From himself or Andrew Wiggins. We don't want to hear from you, girl. We want to hear from Andrew Wiggins. So it is what it is right now, man. All my family and friends out there in New York, stay safe, stay sharp, stay blessed, stay alert, stay on point. All my family and friends in the pen, I said, a couple of y'all got paroled, a couple of y'all about to get y'all day in the sun. It is what it is, man. I'm out of here. One.